Hello and welcome to another installment of this little mini-series where I play Door Kickers 2 while employing uh, real-life-esque CQB tactics that I've learned by playing Airsoft and other Milsim games. I say real-life-esque is because I've never been in a, a firefight, which I count as a win. Uh, and uh, But uh, I, uh, my experience uh, in playing Milsim games and uh, stuff like that is quite useful in this particular game. And I'm enjoying it immensely and hopefully you are too. If this uh, is your first video that you're watching that I've made, I would suggest going to that video that you see on top of your screen because uh, it's the first uh, episode in this little mini-series. So let's get cracking. Uh, we have ourselves a hostage situation where one of them is going to be executed if we uh, uh, are unable to help them out. Our final fancy squad is consisting of Zell, we have Ronan, we have Renoa and Sid. I gave them all MP, MP5 uh, SD6 SMG which is a submachine gun uh, just because I like the weapon and we are all uh, LARPing here anyway. So uh, what I'm going to do is my plan uh, is to gain access to this particular room. Oh hello. Uh, to gain access to this room um, as quickly as possible um, uh, because obviously we need to uh, make sure that this is okay okay my game just bugged a little bit uh, we have one known um, hostage here uh, and two known threats meaning that this uh, this particular area needs to be our main kind of er um, area of concern however we have this little t-junction here meaning that anything that happens here will most likely trigger people coming out of these rooms meaning that I would like to provide some kind of cross coverage here uh, to contain this movement as, until we uh, manage to clear this particular uh, situation. We have sniper support which is always helpful and they never miss in this game uh, which is great so uh, I'm going to employ them uh, freely. This is a fairly um, uh, time sensitive uh, mission meaning that we have to employ our uh, CQB concepts of speed, uh, surprise, uh, the element of surprise I would say and violence of action fairly uh, fairly uh, rigidly so let's get cracking. Sorry as you can see I've already kind of pre-established this. It's not I am not going to uh, slap chart this door. I'm probably going to kick it because it takes a bit too much time. Once it's once it's kicked, uh, whoever uh, we're going to throw a uh, flashbang in this particular area. No, actually, Renoa, you will kick it because you probably are least exposed. Charge. Okay, we have two, uh, there's one probably cameraman here and uh, one guy, an executioner. So what we're going to do is we're going to dispose of this gentleman here and then make sure that he is no longer a threat. Okay, so this hostage is now safe, so we need to move further. So now we kind of forgot about this area, so let's make sure that this is working. Once flashbang is out, we're gonna move Renoa here because she has the most. No, actually, she doesn't. We're gonna button hook with uh, Ronan, and he has the most situational awareness. And then uh, two man will be Renoa, and she will move this way while still maintaining security. Flash out. Oh, Tango Okay, so now we have this. We have another hostage here um, and another guy running towards him. I'm not sure, is he going to shoot him or not? Hopefully the sniper will do their job, but we... Ronan, you are keeping security here. Renoa, you will have to throw a flashbang and I'm going to rapidly advance this way once the banger is out. Flash out. Oh, okay. Sniper did his job. So, I wonder if we actually need to do this. 
Alpha. Go. Oh, come on, controls. Okay, so we will have to make sure that this door is clear. I wish I had another person. You are coming here and you are kicking this mother down. Okay, it's good uh, that he has some armor because that was a pretty messy clearance. We're gonna flash it. Because here we have a bed that I'm not sure if anyone will be there, but the, maybe somebody's still hiding here or here. So I'm gonna flash it. Sorry, hostage. But you're just gonna get a little bit out of it. Let's move it rapidly. No, actually, we're moving this way. I think it's clear. We still have this little corner, so let's go this way. Okay, it's clear. So we have this area of this building is clear completely, uh, and uh, it's pretty messy, but it was okay. Let's move in and clear the rest of the building. We're gonna collapse this line, because I'm pretty sure there's nobody else is there. Okay, let's go. So, because we have this uh, fatal funnel here, uh, right here, we don't want to be in the same space, so I'm gonna uh, divide my group into two different teams, two uh, um, fire teams, and we're going to stack one, he one here, one stack here, one stack here, and both covering basically the required area. I'm gonna cross cover this way. The reason why I've done this is because um, I need to make sure that we have as much as we can see as much of the interior in these two rooms as possible, and this is the better angle, to be honest with you. But now it seems that uh, this is clear. I'm pretty sure there won't be anyone here, to be honest. There is a hard corner here, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna be lazy this time. So, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do. A pretty simultaneous entry one here one here and once the bangers are out, out, out okay that was not needed so there you go uh, the uh, insurgent who was there uh, saw the flashbang going in and he panicked moved out and he got destroyed by us so let's see how it goes and shout out to another follower who wanted to hear my explanation uh, and a bit of uh, commentary on why we're doing a replay so I'm gonna be doing that from now on so as you can see yes uh, this was already kind of pre-made um, so I'm placing a wall charge here while we were safe this, uh, this was pretty good um, it's a good entry because we have two insurgents here already so they're pretty exposed I think they were chilling on the sofa Uh, if I were to do it again, I think I would have uh, Zell actually take care of the guy who was not um, stunned, and then and only then take care of the guy who was stunned. But it's okay. Alpha, go. So as you can see, once everything is playing in kind of real time, you see how. Um, uh, not precise, I would say, how um, uh, non-stop the action is, in a sense. Uh, meaning that we're always doing something, we're always putting pressure on our um, opponent, in a sense. That was a bad move, and also very bad control issues, it could have ended in a disaster. Um, if I were to do it again, I would move him, sit a little uh, while covering this area here. But it's okay, I was lucky. That was a bad move as well. But again... Uh, 
yeah, this room clearance was just messy. Um, should have done it better. Should have actually gone with Sid uh, into this area here. Um, let's just this area here um, in order to be able to see the rest of the room but hey now we're collapsing our stack and because it's a corridor we needed to establish this kind of cross cover and this is it it's fairly quick uh, 48 seconds could have done it a bit uh, faster I think but um, all things considered it was pretty good we've pacified um, 10 hostiles I haven't lost any hostages, there were three of them, I only saw two, it means it's a good thing that I used uh, flashbangs, and that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching, hopefully you learned something here, if you have any suggestions for me, please do give me a shout. Um, please do subscribe uh, and press this like button here, because it does help, uh, and also it will, um, uh, if you put uh, the notifications things on, uh, then you will be notified as soon as I post another video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.